Okay, hi everyone. Thank you very much for coming. I am Jung Min Byung, and I'm going to present about our research, CoCode, providing social presence with colon and screen sharing in online programming classes. Now, online classes provide affordable and convenient options of programming education to the learners. However, there are concerns that online learning may not be as effective as the traditional offline learning. For example, one of the common concerns is that lack of social presence in online learning may result in a low engagement of the learners. To overcome this, modern online classes provide communication methods like forums, text-based chat box, and video discussions. However, these methods require learners' explicit behaviors to communicate with others. So often, there is no social presence in the class even when there are several learners working on the same course material. However, we had an idea that learners may feel social presence if other learners' activities are visible on the screen, like how learners can see what other learners are doing in offline classrooms. Since web-based programming tools make all learners' activities visible to the learning management system, we built a web-based programming tool for sharing social presence, CoCode. CoCode is a web application for online programming classes. CoCode allows learners to write, edit, and run their code on the web-based programming environment and shares the learner's behavior logs to other learners to provide social presence. CoCode has a few design elements that help provide the social presence for the learners, and the first one is non-intrusiveness. First, CoCode allows learners to deliver social presence to their co-learners without any explicit actions. Their normal learning activities send visual cues for social presence to the co-learners. And also, co-learner screens do not show the actual code contents of other learners in the default mode. Learners can read code contents in the core learner screens only when they explicitly put their mouse cursor on the core learner screen. And for the learners who do not want to be distracted by the screens at all, the core learner screens can be turned on or turned off. When screens are turned off, Coco merely shows short text messages that summarizes the core learner activities to the users. And finally, all co-learner screens in CoCode are replay screens. The screens show co-learners' activities as if they all started to work on the current exercise problem at the same time as a learner, so that the uh, learners can feel like uh, they are working together with their co-learners in this virtual classroom-like environment. With this web application, CoCode, we try to find answers for these research questions. First, does CoCode with CoLearner screens provide more social presence than offline programming courses in physical classrooms? Second, does CoCode with CoLearner screens provide more social presence than online programming courses with existing social features? To answer these research questions, we ran two user studies before and after the beginning of COVID-19 pandemic. We recruited the Kai students from our university who took the offline version of CS1 course in the School for Study 1, and also recruited the students who took the online version of the same CS1 course in the school during the pandemic for Study 2. Our university used to have an offline CS1 course based on Python that includes offline lectures and the lab sessions in the classroom. In the lab sessions for solving hands-on programming exercises, Students worked on the exercise problems together with other students and the TAs in the classroom, and they could ask anything to the TAs when they needed to. During the pandemic, KAIST converted the course into a fully online course, so video conferencing live lectures have replaced the offline lectures, and offline lab sessions became virtual lab sessions on the text chat-based social learning platform. In this study, we compared each of them against a simple CoCode-based CS1 course with the programming exercises borrowed from Code Academy's Introduction to JavaScript course. We forced the participants to solve three exercises with CoLearner screens, another three exercises without CoLearner screens, and let them solve final two exercises with or without CoLearner screens as they want. 
and then we ask them to answer the survey questions. Also, we observe these activity logs to see their behavior in the system during the studies. According to the studies, we found that learners feel less social presence in Cocoa than in the offline class, but feel more social presence in Cocoa than in the online or CS1 class they took in KAIST. The table shows the mean and standard deviation values of the answers to the question that measure social presence in five different dimensions. In study two, the learners answered that they felt significantly more social presence in Coco than in the online class in the following three dimensions, the reality of the presence, the context, and the emotion. However, Coco could not provide much information about other learners' personalities or their personal histories. This is partially because the IRB explicitly required in this project that all learners must be completely anonymous to each other. When they are anonymous to each other, it is hard to learn personalities or personal histories of others. Another finding from the studies is that um, Coco with co-learner screens provided significantly more social presence to the learners than the Coco without co-learner screens. This result shows that co-learner screens are essential in Coco to provide social presence to the learners. And the answers to the open-ended questions in the survey also supported these findings. More answers from the learners in study two during the pandemic showed that they preferred CoCode against their CS1 course in the university. We could also find the difference between learners in study one and learners in study two by observing their activity logs. Learners in study two explicitly read co-learners code contents more, and learners who read the co-learners code contents felt more social presence from the others in the dimension of context, emotion, personality, and personal history. However, other than reading the code contents, learners in study one and study two had similar behavior logs. They spent similar amount of time in writing code, and they had similar number of code executions. Therefore, according to the observation, learners in study two during the pandemic read co-learners code more and felt more social presence in co-code. Now, in the paper, we also discussed on several topics about co-code and co-learner screens. First, there is an issue that the learners may copy others' code when co-learners code contents are visible. This may sound like a disadvantage of using co code. However, according to the social learning theory, copying others' code can be one way of learning. Learners can improve their practical knowledge by observing their co learners and imitate them to change their behavior. Also, if educators are still worried about this, they can allow learners to use co learner screens or reveal the co learner's code contents on specific exercises only. Now, as future work, it will also be interesting to add a feature to reveal only certain elements of the code. For example, we can reveal everything except conditions in the if statements or for loops in the code. Uh, features like this may help learners to feel more social presence without distractions from other learners' code. Another topic is about selecting core learner screens to display. The current version of CoCode randomly selects the co-learner screens to display. However, the benefits from the co-learner screens depend on which screens are displayed to the learner. So as future work, it would be interesting to see which co-learner screens are the most helpful when shown to the learners. Previous studies tell that um, learners get positive effects when working with co-learners who are slightly better than them. So we can use quantitative measures of the co-learners activity logs when selecting co-learner screens to show to the learners. The third topic is that the communication among the co-learners. Coco displays all co-learner screens as anonymous users now. However, maintaining productive relations with other learners can improve the learning experience according to the previous studies. We believe that CoCode can provide better social presence for the learners if co-learners can be explicitly identified as specific people. 
Also, according to the open-ended survey answers, learners also wanted to directly communicate with their co-learners. Although it would be hard to let them synchronously communicate with each other, it would be interesting to add features that allow them to asynchronously interact through um, explicit actions like sending short messages or emojis. And finally, the last topic is how would experienced programmers feel about cool inner screens, since all evaluation studies and the research were done with the beginner programmers. To see experienced programmers' opinions on the co-code, we ran a small within subject study with seven graduate students with CS degrees. Participants were asked to solve two programming exercises, one with the cool inner screens and another without the screens. The results showed that their opinions on CoCode were similar to the beginner programmers, which suggests that CoCode may have positive effects on some experienced programmers as well. So in this research, we built CoCode, a system for online programming classes that provides social presence for learners by showing co-learner screens. And the user studies with Kai students showed that CoCode with co-learner screens provided more social presence to the learners compared to the online classes with existing social features. And this would be the end of the presentation. Thank you very much for listening.